skills to figure out the musical notes. Math is a struggle everywhere in this country and we need innovative methods for reaching our students to say, look, math is a tool that you should embrace and here's how you can embrace it by learning how to play the piano. My name is Marcus Blackwell Jr. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia and I'm the CEO and founder of Make Music Count. I've created a method in where you can learn how to play your favorite songs on the piano by solving math equations. I played the piano since I was five years old. I started inventing when I wanted to find a solution to my own intimidation of mathematics. The connection between math and music was to find my own solution to my own problem. That's how the curriculum was made. So for example, here's a song, Mirrors, by Justin Timberlake. What we're going to do here is use our variable x, which equals 2, and swap it for what x is in the equation. So for our first question, we have b plus x, x equals 2. We're going to swap the 2 for the x. And every movement, you would count by half. So we would count by half until we get to 2. So we start on b, half, 1, 1 and a half, 2. So our answer would be D sharp or E flat. Our next problem is D minus X, and so we do the same thing here, which is swapping the X equals two into the equation. So this becomes D minus two, negative half, negative one, negative one and a half, negative two. Our answer is B flat. Bottom one here is E flat plus X, X is two, E flat plus two. Addition means we will move to the right. So we will start on E flat is here, and then count two by halves. Half, one, one and a half, two. Our answer is G. So what we've just solved for here is our first chord. You would play E flat, B flat, and G together with your right hand. So we'd follow the same steps for the remaining chords and columns here in our worksheet. Here we have our three chords that would make up the ability to play Justin Timberlake Mirrors, and it sounds like this. It helps you out with math because you learn how to subtract and add fractions. He breaks it down for us with the halves and how two halves equals one whole, so that equals a whole note or a half note. In your piano, how there's no black note in between. The reason why the students love it so much is because they can sense how genuine my connection is to my curriculum and thus to them. They understand that I've been in their shoes where they've been cast aside to say, hey look, math is hard, you can't do it anyway. Well, I'm here to tell them that, yes, you can, because you can use music and the piano to break down that barrier. Mm -hmm.